Jim Moody there carrying that front wheel very high and Mark Flynn is out of it. That's just not starting, is it? Don't know what's happened there, it's just not picked up. Ooh. That was much worse than it looked from a way back, wasn't it? That was close. He's the front started to move, but he's really got the back moving. Semi high sided in there. God, that was close. Philip McCallum at Black Dub, and that's not a corner to fall off on, but he hasn't done. He's back in his rhythm. He's still the race leader as he goes round. Ramsey Hairpin for the final time. And Jim Moody is still about 10 seconds behind him. Ian Simpson is around about 30 seconds behind that. The V twin hasn't broken the lap record. We haven't seen 125 miles an hour. But on the other hand, it's done uh, a reasonably good job on its first outing on the Isle of Man. Oh, definitely. You know, they've learned from this, and maybe possibly next year they'll come back with us in a far stronger position. But the thing is, if McAllen got a little bit of a scare there at the Black Dub, it's maybe going to give Jim a bit of a chance to, to make up some ground now. Well, Philip McCallan's not the sort of bloke who scares easy, as we have said many times. He doesn't normally let things like that stand in his way. Simon Beck waving at Ramsey Hairpin. Uh, he's in touch. He's, he's within sight of a rostrum finish. He is something like 10 seconds behind Bob Jackson. But I think Bob Jackson's little ploy with the petrol tank is going to pay off for him. Uh, and it seems that we're heading for yet another Philip McCallan win with Jim Moody, it seems, about 10 seconds behind him at Ramsey and 10 seconds to make up over the mountains, quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, Jim looks super smooth and stylish on that bike. It just shows you, you know, a nice, easy ridden bike. Ooh, Sandra Barnett. Yeah, she's pinned to the road there with the back, the back of the bike. The front just tucked under there. Yeah, she was trying to hold maybe possibly too tight a line there and it's just uh, tucked on the bad camber. Well, here's Ian Simpson, who is hoping for third place. Bob Jackson hoping for a rostrum finish, but uh, Simo definitely flying, and I think he is on his way into third and is something like 15 or more seconds to the good over Bob Jackson now. It'd be a nice end to Simo's week if he can get on the rostrum. Philip McCallan's going to end his week in the best possible way with win number three at TT97. There he goes over the line to claim it from Jim Moody by 10 seconds with Ian Simpson, as you say, third place on the roster. We're not really looking at records, you know, because uh, I think if, you're, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But the main thing is just take it race by race, work it out. If you lose it, well, come back the next day and try again. And it's worked out good for us.